Oh, really? I've just <clears throat> been talking to myself all this time. I didn't turn on my mic. Is that for real? That's terrible. Well, that's 10 minutes of uh, talking to myself. Hi to everyone that's here. <laughs> well, I just proved that I'm new. New to this whole streaming thing. Okay. Um, let me recap real quick. I have uh, split the different uh, body parts, the left and right symmetry. I deleted them so uh, that I can transpose it easier with uh, posing the frog. Okay, so let's get started. Um, first is. So I already kind of decided that I don't want to open his mouth anymore. So I'm just gonna uh, merge the jaw and the rest of the head. Actually, do I want that? Yeah, I kind of do. I'm gonna merge these. right verge down yep I know this is not undoable so what I can do now I can uh, smooth this out with a flatten this one is still mirrored right yeah, this. All right. So, this looks a bit more natural. All right, little froggy. So this is a grung D and D frog. Okay. Um, so, this is my frog man. How will we start? Um, I think we need to decide on where his hand goes first. This first hand. So, his, um, this hand, he's holding a blowpipe. So he's gonna put that in his mouth and he's gonna shoot it. So we have uh, his right hand and his two legs need to be attached to the tree stump here. Because he's holding on to it. He's a uh, little tree froggy. He climbs. So he uses three of his, uh, his limbs to climb and a fourth one to carry his weapon around. So I think one thing I want 100% is this hand to be um, either here or here. Somewhere on this part of the branch, right? I think the higher part would be better. But to know the way his arms move, we need to decide where his main body is going to be. So that's another step back. Because everything sprouts from the main body, like his arms are attached to the main body, his face, his legs. So the main body's position is key to all the different parts. We're actually going to start with that. This, this is the, t the part where things are gonna look a bit weird. You'll see why soon enough. See? Whoa, everything's loose. So what happened here is I, uh, I took the part for his body. 
I just put it in a position where I wanted it. So now I can rearrange all the different uh, body parts. And I'm sure there's a better way for to, to do this, but I don't know it. And uh, I didn't figure it out how to do that yet. So one thing we noted yesterday was that um, the body is probably going to be pretty close to uh, to the tree stump because that's the way tree frogs frogs climb. Tree frogs climb. So yeah. Hold on, I um, just got a message. Let me reply to that. Um, yeah, so I want his lower body, uh, move that back first, I want his lower body at least to be next to the tree stump. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make his legs invisible, so I will not be distracted by those. Maybe his head as well. You know what? I'm gonna merge the eyes with the with the head also. Merge that. Yes. Okay. And you're gonna be invisible. Oh. I made everything else invisible. You'll you see why this. <laughs> <laughs> is the process that takes me the longest because I um, press the wrong button and everything goes. I'm so disappointed in myself. <laughs> okay, let's do it like this. We decide what we do want. And we're gonna start it real basic. Just the main body. And actually, it's already attached to the tree. I'm gonna move it a bit down. Take this one step at a time. Let's put on his, his head. Remove that. No. I don't know. Steam just opened. Go away, Steam. I don't want you. Oh, forgot to turn off the mirror. There we go. It. I'm not sure. Uh, I don't like the rotation that much. Let's move it a bit. It looks kind of cute. He's peeking. He's peeking out from behind. Uh, from behind his little tree. Kind of like it. Maybe I need to warp the main body a bit. A little bit. What we're gonna do... Making this black, so when I, uh, when I do something now... Let me show you. What, what, well, why I do this is... If I uh, mask it, if I make this black, that means I'm masking it. If I 
try to use one of my tools the black part will be unaffected so I can kind of change his body a little bit his position so a little bit like this is he's curving his back right that was all I was gonna do let's move the head all right let's get the tree stump back Yeah, that looks nice. Looks kind of nice. Looks like a like a little uh, like he's having a sleepover. His head popping out of his sleeping bag. I'm eating walnuts, by the way. They're uh, they're really nice, really tasty. All right, let's start with one hand. And now what I'm doing is, is I'm just gonna move and rotate until I find a position for his arms that I that I like. I think let's try first to put his hand up here. Right. Let's rotate it a little bit like this. Let's move it here. I do need to be careful that I can still connect this uh, his upper arm. All right. That's not so bad. See, look at that. I think that's adorable. Okay. <laughs> So, so bummed out that I uh, didn't turn on the sound for the first 20 minutes. I'm I, I'm wondering if you can uh, if you can hear the jungle sounds. I uh, I turned on some background music, but I'm not sure if it's uh, if you can really hear it. is a little bit too short so what we're gonna do to fix that just a bit more there and then rotate his main body I need to adjust the other parts in as well is it still okay I think it is This, so this is the most time-consuming part of any sculpt, the posing, at least for me. I, uh, I can get general shapes up pretty quickly. I do textures fairly quickly. But posing, I don't know, it's, uh, it's difficult. That said, it is a fun part because this allows us uh, to be the most this is the most creative part in my opinion is this a thumb this is the thumb right uh, I knew it as soon as I clicked on it. I 
I knew I, I hit the wrong thing. So, this is a thumb. So, which one of you has already seen the Grindelwald movie, you know, the new Harry Potter movie? Anyone did? Okay, tell me if it was any good. So I want to go there, I want to check it out. I want to go watch it. I, uh, I liked the first one. Uh, with the beasts and where to find them, you know, mythical beasts and where to find them. I really uh, enjoyed the first movie. So again, this is what I what I showed you a bit earlier, just masking part of the finger, so if I rotate this, it looks like his thumb is pulled around. The branch. And then we can put the other fingers on. And do them one by one. So every single finger, every single bone in his body, I need to move, I need to realign. Because the basic shape is easy, but posing and make it look natural, that's a different story. That's difficult. This looks a bit weird, but I selected that only a part of the branch should be visible. This way I can more easily rotate the finger around it. Hey! Isn't that something? It's too eager. Rotate it first a little bit. Sorry, I, I get quiet on these parts because these require a lot of concentration and thought. This is also the part that's most difficult for me to explain what I'm doing because this is uh, I'm just imagining in my head how I, how I want all of this to look like. Is that close enough? 
からね奥さんに。Can cheat a little. We uh, we don't have to only use the the move and the rotate tool. We can also just make his fingers a little bit fatter, so that would fit better around the branch. In fact, we could even make the branch a bit bigger. Not that desperate yet. See, that kind of works. And then we'll take this as well. do need to do, I notice, is um, need to inflate his fingers a bit. So, also his thumb. Make him, give them a bit more mass, but it allows for a couple things. It makes sure that finger is tight around this so if you are going to 3d print this model then there will be no gaps and your printer will not get disturbed by that so that's two fingers down of one hand first hand be a bit too fat It. Nah. I should just fatten it on the bottom side because you're not going to see the bottom side that much. All right. Time for the third finger. You can tell this is not my favorite process because. After all these fingers, there is uh, feet where I have to do the same thing, and another hand with fingers that I have to uh, put around this weapon. But hey, it's part of the job. So what you gonna do? Almost the right starting point. He's holding his middle finger to you. Why does he do that? Silly frog. Alright, now here we're gonna do the same thing as before. Just gonna tighten his. Um, Tighten his little froggy fingers around. Around the little branch. We're making happy little frogs, as Bob Ross would say. So, you guys heard about Stan Lee? He, uh, he passed away recently. Sadly, I, uh, I liked his work, I liked his cameos in the movies.
Let's rotate. So now the question is, did I make the first uh, finger too big? Because I think this finger should be bigger. There's two things we can do. We can uh, make the first one smaller and make this one bigger. I think making this one bigger is the way to go. Let's move that a bit. A bit closer to the branch. Now if we inflate this, it's going to look better. Uh, yeah, that's not inflation. inflate this as well so one of the things I need to make sure is that there's no gap here because that's gonna cause trouble for uh, 3d printers and you're not gonna see this part anyway once the model is done so I can just fill this up more solid right. looks good looks good this hand looks huge but that's fine his face is still more huge I think I need to shrink, shrink his face a bit later remind me when that time comes Finger, hand one. Same, same starting origin. The other ones to rotate that up. Yeah, this is not a. <laughs> That's not a kid friendly move. Don't tell your parents, kids. sculpting again. I um, took a break from sculpting for a while, but I notice that I really like it. So since this finger is a bit shorter, I um, need to adjust that also. When I'm rotating these parts. I'm 
that looks weird, but we're gonna fix that. And a little fingertip. Let's go down a little bit. That should be fine. Look, there's a weird gap here. I um, need to. Close it up. Is that better? Why is it not? Wait, hold on. Did I turn off my Diner Mesh? What's going on? Why is it not uh, remesh? this, make this more solid. We still want to show that these are separate fingers, but um, it's also important to fill on these holes. Make sure, again, there's no gaps. I don't want to cause any errors in 3D printers that might eventually print out this model. That's not what we do. Like he he duplicated his um, left pinky. His eyes split it, but somehow it was still there, floating in the air. So the tips of these frog fingers should be a bit bigger. Right, so that's one arm. Phew. All right. Take a quick break. I need to go to the toilet. I will uh, be right back. I'll uh, keep the music on in case you can hear. Let me turn it up. Let me know if this is too much, if this is too loud. I'll be right back.
Alright, I'm back. Whew, so where were we? Alright, um, frog. So, we did one of his hands. It's attached to the tree stump. It looks kind of okay. Wait, I need to make the thumb a little thicker. So, how are we all doing? So if you're just joining us, I'm uh, making a grung, a little frogman. From Dungeon Dragons. He's climbing trees and we're just uh, positioning him so before I'm gonna do his other hands I think it's more important to do his uh, legs first these are not gonna be as much work so, so we should be fine here Lowering this because I um, I suspect maybe this leg needs to um, go down. So what I'm thinking for this leg is he's gonna put it up here and then like this, like have his knee uh, bent and then his feet hanging. But this one is probably gonna. Uh, wrap around the branch so possibly the branch needs to get bigger so just in case let's do that let's uh, I, I can always make it shorter again it's a bit too big yeah I know that looks weird but gonna do direction let's see if that works yeah I kind of like that actually Sure 
this fits. Looks like he's stuck inside the tree. We don't want that.
with that. Two limbs gone, two to go. We're halfway there. Um, other leg. It's invisible. Other leg. Here we go. I think this is gonna be the most dynamic pose I can give him while also making him look steady. And it also shows off his um, athleticism. Alright. Let's move this a bit again. are flexible this that's what's allowing me to do this 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 will be a really weird pose for, um, for a human maybe but not frogs frogs master race
Alright, I kind of like that. Let's, uh, let's clean it up a bit before we move on to the farm. I think we're making uh, good progress here. It's another one of those um, areas that I can just um, really inflate just to make sure there is no uh, gaps anywhere. I want to spare all the 3D printers of the world. gonna shrink to fit this uh, this base so all of this is gonna be a lot tighter so the little um, the toes might be a bit thin for 3d printers so I might have to uh, increase the thickness here by inflating them but if I do that I also need to inflate these toes which is not a problem, but it's, uh, I need to do it balanced, right? So I'm gonna try a little bit. Reset a bit, but then I also need to take the other foot, right? What do we think so far? Does that look nice? I think it's a fun pose. Okay, last one. So, he's holding his right hand in a branch. Both his feet are on the tree, so he has one hand left. What he's gonna do is he's gonna aim and he's gonna shoot his blowpipe. He has a blowpipe weapon, right? So he's just gonna. Uh, uh, what what sound does blow I make? Really. <laughs> but to do that, we need to decide in which direction he's gonna shoot. So he could shoot straight forward here. That's an option. But I think it will be more interesting. If we turn his head a little. Look at what that does if he has a blowpipe and shoot there. So since he's high up in the trees, he's probably gonna shoot straight forward or down. Let's uh, let's tilt his head down a bit. See how that looks. Oh, 
Ooh, I kind of like that. Makes him look really menacing. Alright, I, I think I'm gonna go with that. Silly frog. Looking down on us peoples. He thinks he people. But... While we're at it, I think his head needs to shrink a little bit. All right, just a little bit. Although Grung do have a really big heads, so maybe this is okay. I think it's okay. Let's, let's try what happens if we make his head a bit smaller. Started here. We can make him like this. And it's, I think this is a bit too small. Starting. This is fine. Two sizes smaller. Right? Let's try it again. I think this is fine. I think this works. Let's um, let's do the arm first, and then decide on the size of his head. But I already really like this. All right, uh, arm, 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 arm. Uh, 
that's not so bad. It's not so bad. We can uh, we can solve this. Just... So, how are we all doing? I, um, this is Tom, by the way. Ooh, we need to, uh, we need to get his blowpipe in here. Blowpipe. Stick it in his mouth. Put it in his mouth. So for those of you who weren't here yesterday, this is uh, a continuation of uh, me sculpting a grunt, which is uh, one of my D&D characters, his name is Kika, which is a gangster name for K Kika. Dutch, Dutch for frog. All right. Let's rotate that. So his blowpipe um, has a double function. It also works as a flute. So he, he disguises his uh, his weapon as an instrument, which is how he sneaks past like security and stuff. I think that's pretty cool, right? Okay, but now that we know that, go back to his arm. Sculpting, I think there's a couple phases that you go through when for for every sculpt. I think the, the first part when you have nothing, you only have one big ball, and that's it. You got you gotta shape that into something. You gotta turn it into something, right? And unless you really know what you're doing that's one of the most difficult parts because that's gonna uh, shape your raw edges um, his thumb go goes below right yeah his thumb goes below um, but now we're in a, in a bit later stage so we are um, it's more like we are deciding The way things move and stuff, and the way things are positioned. Um, but at least at this point, you can at least see that it's a frog, and you can see the the. You can imagine what the model is going to look like in the end. But the earlier you are, the more raw all your uh, shapes are. So unless you are in my mind uh, and know what's going on and where I want to go, that's going to be pretty difficult. So that's why I think the start of the process is pretty difficult for people to follow. Man, man, man. 
okay, this is actually kind of good. If I can have his shoulder rest on his uh, knee, that's gonna make the model a lot more stable when you're gonna 3D print this. It allows for more connection points. So I think I wanna work with that. Thumb in, but his thumb goes below the fruit, uh, the flute, the fruit. Listen to me talking silly things. they all move to the other direction this one as well no not this one Something, something happened when I split this about an hour ago and I'm just now seeing that it didn't work the way we wanted it. Nothing we can do anymore. So we'll just have to live, learn to live with our mistake. Let's, uh, let's curve this a bit. Let's make this transparent.
Oh, okay. This also. This will stay in his hand though. Tiddly titty. these fingers a bit later so it's not too precise. I want at least a general shape to be, to be correct. I notice if I'm not talking then I uh, work a bit faster. But I feel like there's value in me explaining what I'm doing. I'm gonna keep doing that anyway. Not too bad for you if, uh, if I go a bit slower. Or you don't like learning. But who doesn't like learning? We all have a healthy growth, growth mindset, right? We're all about increasing our own knowledge. Compared to the other hand and feet, I need to make those a little bit bigger. So let's start by inflating it. more. Oh, 
All right. I'm digging it. I need to clean up the hand, but that's, that's fine. Let's do that right now. see how this is a frog in a tree using a blow pipe, blow darts to snipe his enemies from the tree top tree tops man talking is hard should I do this that's the question Alright, so now back to the head decision. The size of his head. This is original, but we decided to, um, to lower it to make his head smaller, but the question is how small? So we have big and then three sizes smaller. So this is one, two, three, four. I think two or three would be best. This is four, three, two, one. Oh, there's five. This best tree. All right, let's uh, let's go with this one and just smoothen this out. Transparent. All right. So, next question, should I let him have his outfit or not? So we had this, but I'm not sure anymore. Obviously I need to adjust it a bit, but... So 
the ideas. He has a, a little outfit made out of straw and twigs. Alright. Does give him some personality. I think that's right. You know what? Let's uh, let's change the material we're working with. I always really like this one. This material. So, um yeah, outfits. Hmm. It might be too much. like it though. Let's put his acorn head better back up. a little acorn head. Look at that. Okay, 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 okay. Woo. That's cute. Okay. Um, I think this is fine for today. We um, we made some big steps. Wrap this up. Okay. So. I think this is enough for today. We, um, we reshaped his entire body and uh, gave him sausages for fingers and toes, which is fine. Um, made him a bit more athletic. We changed the tree a bit. All in all, I think this has been pretty successful. Pretty successful one and a half hours. So. I'm gonna round this up. I um, want to thank everyone for coming here, for listening. Uh, 
I will be streaming uh, more often. So for now, the schedule is every Wednesday and Thursday night at 8 p.m. Central European time. So if you want to uh, come watch me, join live, talk to me, you're more than welcome to. I uh, I would love that and have a great uh, you know have a great conversation together. Uh, and then uh, next Wednesday we can continue with this uh, model. Then we will probably go and add texture on his frog face, on his on the tree. Uh, we're gonna clean up all the joints because now they look like still look like blobs. But we're gonna um, you know make them look a little better. Uh, so yeah, that's that's about it for uh, for today. Uh, if you want to get notified. Uh, about my streams then be sure to follow me uh, follow me here on twitch or uh, no on instagram at freddy and d uh, yeah i think that's about it so i hope you guys enjoyed it i will uh, see you next week on wednesday bye cheers